Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, September 11th, 2021. Week 145. Wow. Wow. Sad day. Sad day being September 11th? Yeah. Oh, I was like, what happened that I didn't know? <laughs> yeah, but happy day. We no. have uh, two friends that, uh, it's their birthday today. They celebrate their birthday. Yeah, friend. Uh, two other friends celebrated their anniversary yesterday. That's true. So, um, yeah. it's all it's good. You just It's all how you look at it, right? Yeah. You can look just at things. Just a day of remembrance. Yeah, you can look at things in different ways. Yeah. Sort of like my weight. Last week, <laughs> last week I was three thirty-five, and today when I jumped on, I had done good. I stayed off the scale. I had a day of OMAD. I kept with a sixteen-eight schedule of windows. Uh, I opened it up a little bit. I was um, doing eighteen sixes, but I opened it up a little bit because Stacy's working some weird hours, and to be able to have dinner with her, I had to change things a little. Um, so I thought I thought I did pretty good for the week. I uh, got down on the bike. I was doing some activities in the garage and outside. And long story short, today I was 335 again. So um, it didn't go down. Um, but it didn't go up. But it didn't go up, too. So I'll take that, I guess. Yeah. Um, not upset with myself. Not upset with anything. Oh, I did reach out to Car Manager. I was asking them if they were going to have a promo code anytime soon again. Because I am considering just paying the fee. I, I wish it was a one-time fee because I would have bought it a long time ago. But there's some integration that you can do with your Fitbit and, and things like that. And, yeah. And you can group items together into a meal that you could just click that meal and bring it in instead of having to individually put everything in. So I am, I am going to... Um, just pay the money. Well, here, let me finish my sentence. Um, I had reached out to them about a promo code or anything. And uh, they said, we're going to give you a little bit of a trial of the premium for free. So I think I have like two weeks. Um, so today I'm going to sit down and mess with that a little bit, but I am finding card manager helping again. Cause I did drift away from, I knew what I was eating. So I was like, eh, I think I'm okay with this and I'm okay with that. But tracking certainly opens your eyes sometimes, Makes a difference. especially if you're using anything that has the net carb versus full carb thing. Yeah. And I've tried to steer away from that to, to keep more true to true to myself. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So where are you at Stacey? Uh, last week I weighed in at 152. This week I weighed in at 150.2. So oh. I'll take it at 150. Um, yeah, it was pounds. a weird week. I had a um, oral surgery <laughs> on Tuesday. My jaw actually is not looking so bad. The swelling has definitely gone down. Um, I didn't bruise. Uh, she's getting an implant and then a, yeah. a fake tooth or whatever yeah. put over it. Yep. So, so they did the post in there on Tuesday. Um Lots and lots of pressure as they were putting the post in, and holy cow, my mouth was sore. It's still a little sore, um, but doing much better. And last week I had my MRI for my shoulder, so waiting to see what happens with that. Um, yeah, work with is doctors. good. It's um, strangely Busy. yesterday with Fear Friday, we had a spurt of really busy and then kind of calm, considering it was a Friday. So I don't know what today is going to bring. It's I think we're going to get back to being really, really busy on the weekends versus, you know, Thursday, Wednesday through Sunday for sure was busy. Monday, Tuesdays were usually a little, a little less, but I don't know. It's just been weird. Yeah. I noticed too, there's a lot of things that they're limiting one on Yeah. again. So it's like case of water, is it? Or case, toilet water, paper? Water I think or? is two, but your paper products is one a piece. Uh, Lysol wipes is one a piece again. How is your like meat section? Do you have ground beef and everything? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Everything else is pretty good. Are uh, they limiting that too? Like if you were to go in and want to buy meat? No, not at this point. We are not. No. How about wine? <laughs> they need to limit wine. <laughs> I see those ladies in there with the carts and it's like... Oh my goodness, it's... it's tell me you're an alcoholic without telling me you're an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, no, they got that cart and they got... And they have a special way of putting them in. It's different. You know they're the Alkies. Because they put them in with the labels all up and they put them in like nose down or the whole, whatever they at do. The, uh, where the babies sit. Right. So it's their babies, just in a different form of a baby. They still whine. Mm -hmm. Just whine differently. <laughs> it's a different kind of whine. <laughs> So yeah. no, I, I see that I could tell the pro shoppers. Yeah, it's funny. We had one wine. I don't know what it is. We don't drink, but the bottle was so pretty. I just want to buy like the it bottle, for the yeah. bottle. I'm like, it's so pretty. 
That's that's good marketing. <laughs> it's very good marketing. Gonna make me an alcoholic. <laughs> it could make me want to buy that bottle even right. though I don't drink. I couldn't tell you nothing about. <laughs> I watched something yesterday. It was the profit. The guy that Marcus Lemonis or yeah. something. He invests in companies, and they were investing in this um, vodka infused vodkas, and it yeah. was like lemon drop. It was called, and, and apparently they sell it at Whole Foods and Costco. And I, of course, I don't pay attention. And to the, that. What, I don't even go California. down that. I don't even go down that aisle. But uh, the bottle looked cool. <laughs> I was like, oh, that looks like a neat bottle. But yeah, yeah, I don't know nothing about that. Somebody stuff. asked me the other day, like, hey, will you go get uh, this member of Rum Chata? And I was like, don't know what that is. Um, and they looked at me like, you don't know what, what it is. What color I said, is it? No. That's what I, I said, asked. just tell me what. They said it's rum. There, it's it a like? big white bottle. And I was like, oh, okay, that I helps. think I could do that. And then you just start looking for big white bottles and say yeah. rum chocolate. And it's literally like white, like paper white. So it was super easy to find. But they laughed and like, do you not know what rum chata is? I said, no, I don't drink at all. It's like going down the cereal aisle. I'm lost. I don't know what to get. <laughs> There's too many choices. Yeah. And I wouldn't know nothing about the alcohol stuff, what something tastes like. Me either. I hate when they say, hey, do you, can you recommend? I'm like, nope, but I have several cashiers. And I have Who some people could. on the floor that could absolutely recommend for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the one thing I've learned about Costco is if you see it and you like it, buy it. Yep. There was a shed that I really wanted and I took pictures and I sent Stacy measurements and she was so busy and I was, you know, like hemming and hawing and then uh, it's like, hey, can you give me a picture of that shed? And she's like, it's gone. But it's to gone. be fair for me... Distribution has been very weird. So some of the things we get the displays in and we're waiting and waiting and waiting for the deliveries. Yeah, um, like that generator. Yeah. We had a display, but no stock until October or something, yeah. you know, so it happens. We had the power go out, but we have a whole house generator. So yay, our stayed on and you looked outside and everybody on the block was out. And <laughs> I felt guilty turning the lights on, but you know. I didn't. I didn't either because we spent a lot of money we on spent, that darn thing. <laughs> I was going to say, we spent a lot of money to but have we were, that pleasure. But we were also losing a lot of food and yeah. we were miserable in the summertime when it was like 90 degrees out at night still and we'd be sitting in here like huffing and puffing and now you can run the air, you could have everything but the stove and yeah. washer and dryer are not hooked up, things and that's like okay. that. And that's fine. But yeah, so our whole house generator kicked on and saved our butts we were happy for like a day and, and i half. will tell you because it went out the night that i had the oral surgery so i was so she needed the fan she needed the, i was yeah. very happy because i was having some hot flashes and i was sore and i was not sleeping and yep. thank goodness we had the fan and i was comfortable true versus being hot <laughs> yeah we got a little bit of a camping trip coming up i'm i'm a little bit nervous about uh, temperatures for you because you know it's still warmer and uh, and, and Stacy's needs to pretty much sleep in a cooler. Um, our house is freezing with with you at night. Uh, maybe just gonna have to crack windows and use fans or something because because uh, we'll be camping but there's no AC. They make this little Turn thing. It's almost <laughs> it's almost like a cooler. And it's almost like a swamp cooler thing, but it's it's supposed to cool like a small space, right. like the car. But gosh, they're kind of expensive, and I'm thinking, you know, and it also takes up more room. If we did more camping, yeah, if we did more, we, for sure. But yeah, they could send me one. I'll review it. <laughs> I'd do that. Yeah, but no, I was considering it for you because I know, you know, everybody wants to be comfortable, but Stacy needs a cryo chamber. <laughs> <laughs> she just like throws her arms and yeah, she has a she has a fit at night. Now, it's my body, it's not me. Yeah. I'm not happy with my body overall right now. I'm not you, got happy. A lot of, you got a lot of issues going on, but we'll get you fixed fixed up. Mm -hmm. I've been doing good. I've been moving and active. I, I've definitely had some back pain. <laughs> definitely. Mm -hmm. It was out yesterday and last night too. Yep. But I was also doing a lot of work and I was working in fish tanks, which is a weird angle because you're hunched That's, over and your yeah. arms in and you're doing things. And I did that for a couple hours, cleaning and moving and got some new fish in, got some babies. So I'm excited hopefully about Hopefully those, those babies will grow up and give me more babies. Yeah, they will. They will. It's just going to, got to be patient. They're, they're all juvenile fish, so they're only like an inch long, but uh, they'll grow quick. Yeah. So we're going to be happy with that. They're all African cichlids. Yeah. So. 
my favorite mm. fishes. But I always go to the, to the docile African cichlids, not yeah. the really aggressive ones. And yeah, so these are these are going to be nice, friendly tank mates. Got some blue dolphins <laughs> and some yellow labs, and yeah, tank mates, huh? Yeah, little <laughs> tank mates. Oh Thank you goodness. very much. <laughs> and some red zebras. So this we'll, is all day long, guys. Yeah, these are the <laughs> jokes. All right, well, I guess we should get going, and I hope everybody's doing well, and you have a great weekend, and um, sticking with our keto journey, and I, I, I've been trying to gear up to a, to a day of fasting. I, I have been doing the OMAD, and I have been doing the intermittent fasting, and I've been really trying to trim out anything that was a net carb versus full carb, right. and I have veered away from anything that was like a keto fied type of a snack or something. I yeah. bought some pumpkin seeds the other day. Those are wonderful. Mm, sea salt. Just a little one ounce handful or whatever. Actually, an Was ounce it? is almost too much to Yeah, eat. I, I have a little pill keeper bowl that I use and I weigh it because yeah. I'm weird like that. But uh, yeah, the pumpkin seeds, you can get a lot of pumpkin seeds <laughs> for for the one serving thing. And then um, what was the other thing? Oh, whole walnuts. We got some walnuts. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to open some of those as like a little treat. But I'm trying to like stay between the meals, not doing a lot of snacking because yeah. for the insulin and the, the resistance and stuff. So working on that. So, all right, guys, have a great one. And we will see you next week. And um, hoping and praying for everybody to stay healthy and happy yeah. and on target. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's the plan. Alrighty, have a great guys. day, guys. Bye. Bye.